Say hi. Hi. Say Dix. Say I'm Dix. Good job. Yeah. There is one loaf in the oven. One large loaf that will go in shortly. Yeah. This is actually on my list today. I've never made mozzarella. I've wanted to make mozzarella for a very long time. I don't know if I'm actually going to get to it today. Stay tuned. I have a feeling a whole other video will come just on this. I'm super excited, super duper excited. We also have a sickie, just a nasty cold, but you know. I'm actually headed to go check on the fire now. Um, Riggins got it going for me. We're actually, I don't know, I haven't done a video um, on YouTube for this yet, but we've been in our woods a lot, clearing areas. I have a dream for down there. Um, we've been down there doing school, we've been down there cooking, we've been doing that a lot the last couple weeks. We're not down there today though, because I need to be in my kitchen a lot today, and uh, so we have a fire pit up here, so this is where we'll be doing the hot dogs. That's a good one, look at it. Oh, I'm in the way there, yes. So I'm hoping I can go find these sticks with no problem. Let's see, you never know. Let's see here. Here's one, right here. They're all supposed to be there. This is a cool little fishing rod one. Sorry, you can't see what I'm pulling. Hold on a minute, there we go. Doing this one hand is always challenging. We need more than that. Oh goodness, now we're all caught in the hockey net. Okay, let's look around here. Hmm, want to have my kids come find them. Who knows where they are? Wait, I just spotted another one. That'll work. Okay, so that gives us the ability to do three at a time. All right. Riggins found another one of these fishing ones. Do you want to show them how it works? Yeah. You stick the hot dog on and just fish over the fire. These were a gift to him. Coolest gift ever. He loves these. Super fun. All right. Wish us luck. We'll see how this goes. Can I just say too, goodness, it's such a beautiful day today. Look at this. How can you not just want to be outside all day? It's always hard for me on these beautiful days to stay in, but you know, laundry, cooking needs to be done. This kid's been prepping for a camp out. Out back tonight with a friend. It's not gonna be quite freezing. It doesn't burn all the way because it has I know, the check stuff it out. on it. And he's been making these um, fire starters. He made one for his friend too. They're they're so fantastic. Yeah. So he just takes a cotton ball, douses it in Vaseline. 
keeps it in a little tin and it's ready to go. If you have a match, a lighter, flint and steel, anything like that, you will be good to go. They're fantastic fire starters. It's still burning. I know, nice work. So our lane, if you don't, if you, if you don't um, follow us over on Instagram, you probably haven't seen it. I don't, well, actually, it may have been in one of my previous videos from last week, but our lane was just a blaze a couple weeks ago, and it's now officially pretty well done. We still have this guy, Walnut Tree. He's still holding on to a little bit of color, but just look at this. It's glorious. So peaceful. couple days ago I want to show you some absolute the cutest thing you probably have ever seen but a couple days ago I was walking down here towards the woods with the kids some of them were already down there I was just headed down a little bit later than them and all of a sudden I hear this screech and I'm like that it wasn't super loud I'm like that sounds like a bald eagle and I looked and I was just watching and sure enough over our barn, a bald eagle, it was still pretty high up in the air. I was afraid there, he was gonna go after our chickens. Just was soaring. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. I mean, have you ever seen a bald eagle that close? Like they are, I mean, there's a reason why their people are just mesmerized by them. They are, they are majestic. And so is this crazy kid. What did you wanna say? Hi. Uh-huh, and there's Rico. Mr. Limp, he will have a limp his whole life. Okay, so I'm taking you into our downstairs sunroom, which is a disaster. You guys. <laughs> I mean, can you even? Ugh. Oh, you need a little bit more medicine in your eye. Look at, look at that one over there. Oh, gentle. So gentle. I'm only watch. Oh, be real careful. Make sure you don't Look, step on them. I'm not even holding. I know. Okay, I think that's probably good. Look at these two. So are we going to keep them? Yes. No, we're not. Yeah. We're not. Okay, so here's the deal. Oh, come here, little pumpkin. We have this, this litter. Let's see if we can get it to focus. This litter, that lighting is just going to drive me berserk. Right, little kitty? So this litter is Skittles litter. Skittles is our calico that we keep. This is her second litter of the year. And I'm going to try to catch her. Come here, little man. I think this is our only male from the litter. We're gonna try and catch her. I think this is gonna be it. We do not wanna have a farm or homestead or land just swarming with kitties. And we yeah. also can't we just not that. feed animals. So we're gonna probably have these little guys or the mamas fixed. All of these will be given away. <clears throat> hint, hint. Oh, come here. Here's another little one. What was that? Another little one. What was that? Yes, aren't they just precious? They are handled a lot. Hold on, I'm gonna show you another one. This little fluff ball. Oh, I'm sorry, Skits. So these three are the calicos. We had three calicos in this litter. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Like, I don't know. Are the two males that we keep <clears throat> don't waste much time. Anyway, and I actually think May, our other male, or the other male, no, the other female has a litter somewhere. I thought her litter died, but now she's been gone a lot. So my guess is her litter is still alive, but she's hidden them from us. She almost hid her first litter. Hey, Bubby, close that door a little bit when you come out. She almost hid her first litter from us, but we found them, this one. We have searched our property everywhere. We have tried to follow her. She won't. Hi. She she won't show them to us. Yeah. Okay. You want to be outside? Did you tell Cooper? Come this way. You're still in your PJs. Okay. I'm heading in to go check on this dough to pull everything that we need together for these pigs in a blanket. Crossing fingers. It won't be a disaster because... 
One, surely you know this by now. Food, good food is important to me. And I think this should be delicious, so we'll see. Okay, I was thinking through this. I don't wanna take too terribly long. I don't really wanna wait. So instead of doing them on the skewer, I am going to wrap the dough around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wrap the dough like that, just around them. I think it's gonna go faster. We will see. You can probably see right in here, this pan is like seasoned so well right now. So I'm just gonna go throw this on the fire out there and let's see what happens. I can't help but think it's gonna be amazing. So I didn't end up needing the pokers after all. I asked Cooper just to split it open so we can set it right there on the hot wooden, Oh, that's gonna be perfect. Yes. Look at that. Okay, we're just waiting. But as they're waiting, the bread came out of the oven. You guys. It's so good. Sorry, I don't mean to talk in my mouth. Oh. It is so good. This is our family's perfect sandwich bread I told you about. Hold on a minute, let me grab a chair. And they're not ready yet, buddy. And if you go, if you go to my website, megwhitephoto.com, I'll put the link down though. If you subscribe to just my email list, which I don't send things out hardly ever, no strings attached, I will send you the recipe to this. Free. Mom! Just because. Free. So good. We had a big bonfire here the other night. Hold on one second. We had a big bonfire here the other night. We had a bunch of high school students. I made Texas sheet cake. So good. I love Texas sheet cake. And I made bread. No, not for you kitties. I brought both down. You guys, I had leftover Texas sheet cake, but literally within five minutes, the bread was gone. And the kids were like, wait, is there any, is there any more? Uh, yeah. One sweet boy, bless his heart, said it's the best bread he's ever eaten. I'm telling you, so easy to make. It's not hard, anybody can make this bread. Just message me. I'll send it to you. And on a beautiful fall day. Oh, sorry for all the smoke, but look at this. And they're, they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. Look at that. We're gonna try, hold on, be real careful. Flip just one at a time, if you can. Okay, you just push the, there you go. Yeah. Okay, if you somehow didn't miss the, or you missed the beginning, we've never done this before. It's bound to not be perfect, but oh, yes. That will be so good. No, it's gonna be good. In a minute, buddy. You may not even, yeah, okay, that one's not quite set yet. But I'm going a little bit longer. Yeah, oh, that one might be ready. We probably shouldn't have put quite so many in this pan. That's all right. Come on, little guy. Oh yeah, don't, don't lose your bread. We want that sourdough on there. Okay, we should, we did, okay, next time, let's do half of this, because what's happening is the bread's sticking. Mom, can I have any? Oh, wee. There.
is my first bite. It's so good. Do you guys like them? You like it? It's a, no, the cats want it really bad. Okay, sorry, that was too close. Um, so I used, oh, good gracious. I used, what were the sausages called? Do you remember? Like cheddar, cheddar something sausages. Jalapeno? Mm-mm. Sourdough around it. They're really good I'm not, sausages. I'm not usually a hot sauce fan, but I have a, like a buffalo sauce. It is absolutely delicious. You guys, if you have never Look done this that. before, do it. It's so simple. Oh, no, 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 kitty. No. It is so good. It does not look pretty. We could work on that if that's really important to us, but it absolutely was not in any way. But it tastes like gourmet, like a gourmet pigs in the blanket. Slightly smoky flavor from cooking it over there. Um, there's the cat again, get her down. Oh, she's a mama, so she's hungry. Even though she's been fed multiple times today. Yeah, so good. Oh. I don't want to do that because I want to feel like Okay. I thought we were staying up by that fire. <laughs> but now, whoo! All my kids headed down into the woods, so I'm not ready to show you what we've done down there yet. Um, but we can at least go for a walk, right? Come on, let's go. If I can just get him to walk a bit faster. He is coming. I keep waiting for him. He's only picked up probably two to three sticks, turned them into guns, and now he's sitting down doing something. And yes, he still has his Mickey PJs on. You know. Hey, Miss Faithful. What you doing? Why are you eating grass? Are you gonna throw up? Hey, girl. I am so bummed. I don't think you can hear it. I haven't heard it again, but I just heard the bald eagle screeching. I don't know if that's how you, if that's how you, is that how you say what a bald eagle, the noise it makes? I just heard it sound. I just can't find it. But he's finally coming. Can't get mama. Can't get mama. Hi. <laughs> doggy. Did a doggy try to give you kisses? Can't get mama kisses? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, holding a finger. <laughs> okay, let's keep walking. You gonna run? <laughs> Don't follow the dog. Come on. Come on. If you follow the dog, you're gonna get burrs on your PJs. Come on. We're almost to the river. I've been trying to check on the levels of the river, just to watch it for no crazy reason, because it got real, real low. And it's, it's come up some. It still is pretty low, but it's beautiful.
One really cool thing though, when the river did get super low, is we took, we went down and we took a hike. Goodness, probably a, 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 at least a mile, if not two, with my kids, all the way down the river and we could walk. I mean, some places we were in water, some places we were, it was dry. It was, I mean, you just don't get to see the river like that. And way, way down there. So it was amazing. It was absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I can really capture it. Yeah, there you go. The river has now turned pretty dark. It is very clear still, but dark just from all of the fallen leaves. It's good water. Someone told me that this river has, is some of the cleanest water in Illinois. Don't know if that's true or not, but I will take it. Irish! Oh, I wondered if there she is. I just had to whistle for her. She actually doesn't veer off of our land much. Every once in a while, when we first moved here, she was over at our neighbors often, but she does pretty good. It's really fun to watch her down here. <laughs> just a teeny tiny bit of white aster left on our trail. Most all of the rest has been killed by the frost. Hey guys, okay, much later in the evening. It's actually almost five o'clock. Um, I am prepping dinner. So I think I said it earlier, that's why I am coming on to say this now. And my goodness, I can't hold this still. Um, ooh, that's hot. I was going to, um, I was going to cook steaks on our cast iron skillet tonight, out on a fire. I thought that sounded really good and delicious and super simple, especially after what we did earlier today for lunch. But then I remembered that my son is having his camp out tonight with his buddy and they are using the cast iron stove skillet down there and I only have one and I didn't wanna to have to worry about that. So we're just gonna grill them. But let me show you, we're having, we have a couple of T-bone and then we have um, actually a bunch of lamb chops. Our first time since we butchered our lambs, Winnie and Wonder, they're in other vlogs. It's our first time since we butchered them that we actually have had lamb chops. We've done lots of other things, but not the chops. So here we go. These are obviously the steaks, lamb chops, just um, a steak rub on here. Something that I actually purchased. I don't even remember the name of it. The lamb chops ha have just been sitting in a homemade Italian dressing. I'm not doing much with them. We'll add some salt and pepper only because I've never done them before and I want to be able to add two if we need to as we're eating them. So these will go on the grill, probably in about 30 minutes. Sourdough, technically a sourdough pizza crust, but we're gonna just load up some butter on it and some probably sea salt and a little bit of um, maybe Parmesan or maybe just regular cheese. I'm not really sure, so that'll be good. I have potatoes going over here. So it's actually, all of that is just actually really, really simple. Oh, I have applesauce that I already made. We'll probably have some applesauce. You know, just a couple things, and it'll be good. Stay tuned. I'm super curious to see, especially how the lamb chops turn out. If I go cut holes in every single tree, I'll find out. Do you hear the woodpecker? I wish she hears it. Again. 
Sometimes the woodpecker. Sometimes the woodpeckers are on the side of our house. Since we've moved in, you can see where there's damage from them technically, but since we've actually moved in, not near as much. But I love the sound. <laughs> Getting ready to start grilling. Okay, what did everybody think of the lamb chops and the steak? Terrible, amazing. Deke, what'd you think? Was it good? Chase, wow, what'd you think, babe? Good. 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 Willow, what'd you think? Good. Pose? Good. Good? I gotta cook my own, so it's good. <laughs> good. And I thought it was two thumbs up if I could give you two thumbs up. And Irish obviously does too, since she won't stop barking. Good morning, friends. It's actually, hold on, let's see where you go. It's actually the next day, and I realized last night, or maybe it was this morning early, I never signed off this video, so anyway. We're back at it today, working in the yard, trying to get my sourdough baking this morning. I told you I took it like a two and a half month break, and it smells great. The pizza crust one was fantastic last night. So good and really simple. But this dough is looking a little wishy-washy. We'll see. Anyway, have a great Saturday and we'll see you next time. Talk to you later.